The time now, it is 8 o'clock in the morning time on this Thursday morning, August 14th, 2014. Thursday morning, tap it off on uh, Water Magician, PJ wins the ball report. Thursday morning, August 14th, 2014. <laughs> Good morning to you all, this lovely, lovely Thursday morning here. Our current conditions at 8 o'clock here, not message has got a temperature of... 64 degrees at temperature in first guys. Humidity 78%. What's made what's about 7 miles per barometer? 29.78 inches. 2.57 degrees. And we got a visibility of 10 miles. Humidity 77%. Humidity 77%. And we got a visibility of 10 miles. Okay, let's take a look at our radar scope. And it shows the remainder of our rain event yesterday. It's up in... Up in Northern and Down Eastern Maine. And so should it have been down for Western portions of... Nova Scotia ended up in eastern Quebec, around Quebec City, and, and Spotty Ray tries at eastern portions of Nova Scotia here. And seeing that little blobs of rain tries around southeastern portions of St. John's and the Prince Edward Island there. And I had rain tries in western Quebec, and switched at the Duff and Northeast of the Duff of Ontario, around Sudbury, and little rain tries in north of Toronto. And we're seeing some spotty rain showers with Southern Ohio, Northeastern Kentucky, and Western West Virginia, and a lot of rain showers with the Northern Kentucky, Southeastern Indiana, South of the Cincinnati Metropolitan Area, here, and a little spotty rain showers with Southeastern portions of Missouri, and the Southwestern portions of Kentucky, here. And we have seen some spotty rain showers of storms off the Carolina, Georgia, and for the East Coast, out there of the Bahamas, and spotty rain showers off the Florida West Coast of the day, and the Gulf State, Gulf Coast, and a lot of rain showers at the southeastern Texas Gulf Coast here, and stretch it off the northeastern Mexican coast here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we're seeing some. We're seeing some spotty rain showers and storms in central Kansas, and a lot of rain showers and storms from north central Mexico down for southern New Mexico, and a lot of rain showers around southwestern Colorado, and a little lot of. Rain showers on northeast of Utah stretch out of Wyoming and stretch out of the eastern Idaho and stretch out of the west central portions of Montana and a line of rain showers in the Dakotas and a line of rain showers in eastern Washington and the Dakotas. West central portions of Oregon here and spotty rain showers in central Manitoba and west central portions of Saskatchewan here and north central portions of Saskatchewan here. Fairland in the Angola, 66 degrees with fuel clouds here. Take a look at our map situation here. It shows a lot of clouds coming from Northern Maine, stretching it down to cover a bunch of Atlantic Canada, stretching it to Quebec, Eastern Ontario, and up to Quebec, and up to Newfoundland here, and a lot of clouds from off the Florida, Georgia, and, and Carolina coast side there, and a lot of spotty clouds right in the Gulf of Mexico, and a little bunches of Clouds from Western Mexico covered it down for the Mexico, search of the Colorado, up to the Meadow, to the Rockies, and over that hole, down for Oregon, down for Washington State. Southeastern portions of the bridge covered out of Alberta, down for Saskatchewan, down for Manitoba, down for Dakota, down for Montana, Minnesota, down for Western portions of Iowa. And a couple of actions clouds from Northwestern portions of the bridge covered out here in Northern Manitoba. Oh, wait, let's take a look at our map situation here. Station from, from Alberta, search of the day for the Rockies and the Western Plains, and down for Northern Texas here. Cold front from northeastern Missouri, then through the Ohio Valley, stretching in and central New York, and up to station front up to Quebec here. And a big front from southern Quebec from Montreal, down to New England, a warm front at the sea, and a cold front cloud with a low off New England, stretching down the Atlantic Sea, water down the Gulf of Mexico here. And we got high pressure central Idaho, and northern New Mexico, and southern Missouri, and western Ontario, and a low pressure southern Quebec, and northeastern portion of Nevada, and southern Montana here. 63 degrees at temperature right out of Boston. It's 64 out in New York City. 66 in Washington, D.C. Per 56 is in Detroit and Pittsburgh. A trio of 62s from Omaha and Kansas City in Chicago. 60 out in Minneapolis. 62 in Atlanta. 80 out in Miami. And 76 in Bradsville. 72 in Dallas, Texas. It's 65 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. 68 in Denver. 66 in Salt Lake City. 85 in Phoenix, Arizona, 83 in Las Vegas, 67 in Los Angeles, 61 in San Francisco, 66 out of Great Falls, Montana, and it's 67 in Great Falls, Montana, and 66 degrees out in Seattle. 
For conditions around the week, we have a 63 degree temperature reading from Boston, 61 for Fitchburg, 59 Bedford and Gloucester, 61 out in Beverly, 55 Worcester and Sturbridge, 60 out in Webster, 60 in Norwood, 62 in Taunton, 63 in Bedford, it's 63 in Plymouth, 64 in Falmouth, 62 in Chatham, 64 in Parsons, 64 in Marshall Field, 67 in Nantucket, 68 out in Cape Cod Bay, it's 64 in Blockhead, 63 in Wesley, 59 out in Smithfield, 61 in Fakefield, 54 in Emerson and Pittsfield, 55 in Greenfield, 56 in North Ham, Massachusetts, and 55 in Albany, New York, it's 54 in Bainton, 53 in Vanover, 57 in Keenan, Jeffrey, New Hampshire, and Men. Chester, New Hampshire's got 56, 57 in Concord, New Hampshire, it's 59 in National New Hampshire, 61 in Boston, New Hampshire, 63 in Winslow, Connecticut, 69 in Hartford, and in Meriden, and New Haven, Connecticut, 57 in Waterbury, 58 in Denver, 63 in Bridgeport, it's 64 degrees out of New York City here. Okay, let's take a look at our forecast discussion around the country here. Heavy rain event wrapping up in the New England states here. And showers and thunderstorms with flash flood potential to affect the desert southwest of the and northward progress of the frontal boundaries of development. And coastal low pressure across New England will allow the bulk of showers and thunderstorms to depart main later today. And consequently, the heavy rain front will wind down and wake the system with cold front. Low humidities will follow to make way for pleasant conditions for the northeast and middle of over the next few days. Months suitable moisture will continue to set off scattered correction to the desert southwest with plenty of invincibility and moisture for the top, as we to tap the flesh for the potential for the pencil of the Portions of the New Dragon West could also see scattered showers and thunderstorms for Friday as well as we strong upper level low moves across the regions, low pressure forms. In the high plains and drift seas, so showers and thunderstorms will form Friday in the northern and the central high plains with local heavy rainfall possible. Frontal battery that exited off the east coast will stall across the southeast, southern of front sea and lakes, breezes, and will aid in the development of daytime shots and thunderstorms over the next couple of days in Florida. Air. Okay, let's see how much. Of rain we're gonna get in the desert southwest here. We are seeing the rats fed up to a half an inch around El Paso, Texas, here by about Saturday. Okay, let's take a look at our forecast discussion here in New England there. Strong low pressure over the northern New England lifts to the southeast Canada today and Friday, while high pressure builds into the middle of the Atlantic region. This provides seven New England winds, mainly dry weather, wide along with some mild days of cold nights into Saturday. By Sunday, a trail of low pressure may bring a few shots in the region, but no means a washout. Overall, trend in the forecast on the track and make it to the time, but we will warm up today. Some guidance to suggest that we will mix out out of 800 millibars as though this would allow temperatures to warm well in the 80s and after with cool temperatures off to anticipate temperatures warmer in the mid 70s. Here. Okay, let's take a look at our. What is going on in the tropics here? Nothing going on in the Atlantic, Eastern Pacific, Troublesome Carita here is now 60 miles per hour winds with a movement west about 40 miles per hour. Settle location 17.5 to the north, 150.2 to the west here. <coughs> And the latest public advisory had trouble sub car, Rita. The 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Location 17.4 to the north, 115.2 to the west, about 510 miles, 825 kilometers southwest of the southern tip of Baja, California, mixed with same winds, 60 miles by 95 kilometers an hour. The present movement west at 275 degrees and 14 miles by 22 kilometers an hour. The minimum central pressure 998 millibars and 29 by 47 inches here. Watches warns are no close to watches of warnings in effect at 2 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. UTC. The Southern Tropics from Karina West located near 17.4 to North North Latitude. Longitude 115.2 to West. Karina is moving towards the West near 14 miles per 22 kilometers an hour. This is a general motion to expect to continue for the next couple of days. The maximum the same winds are gusted, increasing to near 60 miles per 95 kilometers an hour. With higher gusts of streaming and forecast during the next 40 hours. 
and Carolina could become a hurricane by tonight. The tropical storm force winds extend outward about the 35 miles, about 55 kilometers from the center, and there's many minimum central pressures, 998 millibars, 29.47 inches. Here, how's this affecting the land? None. So, I believe by 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, this is going to be Hurricane Karina here. Satellite three of wind data indicates the area of low pressure located at 1150 miles east southeast out of Big Island of Hawaii has become divided overnight. That all those shower and thunderstorm activities changed a little during the past several hours. Crowds are available to this service is expected during the next few days. On that top of the pressure conform by late Friday or Saturday, the storm is moving slowly westward. Northwest would currently cross 140 west latitude and will move into the central Pacific basin later this morning. The feature discussion of this service will be provided in Tropical Weather Outlook Station by the Central Pacific Warrior Hurricane Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Formation checks for four hours, high 6%, and formation checks for five days, high 8%. Here. Okay, now, let us public advise we have the Hurricane Hu now, Tropical Storm Julio here at location 3140 to the north, 1590 west at 11 p.m. Hawaiian time yesterday. About 685 miles, 1085 kilometers to north of Honolulu, Hawaii. At max sustained winds, 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers an hour. The present movement northeast of 40 degrees at 3 miles per 6 kilometers an hour. The minimum central pressure, 96 millimeters, 29 by 12 inches. Now, no close to watch the water's effect. At 11 p.m., Hawaiian Standard Time, down at UTC, the center of the of Julio was located near latitude 31 north, to the north. Launch is 159 below the west as Julio is moving toward the northeast near 3 miles by 6 kilometers an hour. This is most expected to continue throughout Thursday. Julio will begin to move slowly north late to the night near Friday. And maximum same winds are near 70 miles by 110 kilometers an hour with higher gusts and gradual weakness forecast on Friday. And top of storm force winds extend that wind up to 125 miles and 205 kilometers from the center. The estimated minimum central pressure is 986 millibars at 29.12 inches here and has affected the land none. Nothing brewing in the severe weather department here, and nothing, no critical fire weather watches here, so. So. Okay, we're going to have a terrific Thursday in Storm Tap here. 70 for much of the region, from 75 for Boston, for 77 Providence, Brockton, Fall River, New Bedford, 73 for Falmouth, 76 for Brunswick and Plymouth, 70 in Garner, 75 for Springfield, 74 for Hartford, 70 for Pittsfield, 73 for Albany, 79 for New York City. 68, Redland 73, Concord, Hampshire, 74, Port of So, terrific Thursday, so, so 68 to 79 degrees will be the high temperature range here. And tonight's low will be 50 to 60 degrees. 50 from the suburbs, 60 in downtown Boston. And tomorrow's high, another beauty, 71 to 76 degrees. And a beautiful weather on tap. But those of you, if you're going to the beach, you have better be looking out for some rip currents. 3 to 2, right? Spread. 3 to 5 foot. Two to five foot seas from much of the region, two to four foot seas from Miss Grumman, Rhode Island, nine from New Bedford, two to four inches from Block Island and then Mars Vineyard in Nantucket, three to five inches from Providence Sand down in Chatham, and two three to four inches from Plymouth, all the way down through Boston and three to five feet from Gloucester up to Salisbury here. And this is Coast Guard Beach in Massachusetts. This is Watch Children Rhode Island and Salisbury Beach in Massachusetts and Rip currents break the grip for the rip as rough surf across the ocean beaches will result in the risk of rip currents and use caution when air the water and swim and beaches with black cards here. Oh, Alright, let's take a look at a view from the outside here. And uh, it is a much different air mass from 24 hours ago when it was rainy and sticky. Today, a much different area myself. Beautiful day on tap with some sun and a little breezy condition. So, a taste of fall, a fall preview tomorrow, today. Oh, wait. Let's 
take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this, there. Friday day, sun sky is under 66 degrees and west, what about 7 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, park sky is over 56 degrees and west, what about 5 miles per hour coming in the evening. Friday, most of the sun sky is under 66 degrees and calm wind becoming the southwest about 5 to 9 miles per hour in the morning. Friday night, park sky is over 55 degrees and west, what about 5 miles per hour coming in the evening. Saturday, sun sky is with a higher 79 degrees and light west, what about coming southwest about 5 to 9 miles per hour in the morning. Sunday night, isolated showers up to 1 a.m. and park sky low in 61 degrees and chance of space is 20%. Sunday, scattered showers, park sky is under 38 degrees. Chance of space is 4%. Sunday night, park sky low in 61 degrees and Monday, but sleep sky is under 39 degrees and Monday night, park sky low in 59 degrees and Tuesday, most of the sky is under 39 degrees. Tuesday night, park sky low in 62 degrees. Wednesday, chance of showers, but sky is under 39 degrees. Chance of space is 30%. Peter's weather phrase of the day. A pleasant and a terrific Thursday in store for today. Here, Peter Channel News Time is now 8:16 in the morning time. Here it is 16 after 8, and it is time now for a little traffic report on this Thursday morning here. And. Let's start you off in Dan in Greater Boston here. We're Route 3 on the northbound side. Backed up from from Derby Street in England all the way down to the Brain Tree split there. And 128 off 93 South Little Slope from the split all the way down to the Punk Bar Road in Canton here. Suffix is first on the northbound side slope from Quincy all the way down to Dorchester due to two accidents here. One accident is Near the Morrissey Boulevard exit and another accident near the gas tanks here, so try to stop some extra time here, even in that area here. Aaron. One toy down the northbound side, a little slope from 195 in Kenton all the way out to Western Air through the next exit on 120 on the southbound side near. In Waltham here between exit 27A and exit 26 here, so try to some extra time here in that area here. And route 2 on the westbound side, a little slow around 120 in the next and then route 2 eastbound, a little slow for about to that first part parkway due to the exit of the first part parkway here. And 120 on the southbound side, slow for built to that for Lexington. 120 southbound, a little slow from Redden all the way out to the Burlington. And 120 northbound, slow from 38 to Woburn all the way down for 93 out in Stodham. 93 southbound backed up from Wilmington all the way out to Stoneman. 93 south slow from Medford all the way down for the Zakin Bridge here. 10 Wilmington on the westbound side, a little slow. Mass back in the eastbound side, slow from 120 and western all the way out to the Austin Brighton Tolls due to some road constructed at Austin Brighton Tolls. And also, road constructed roadway reduced to three lanes at Bass Park Eastbound after Interchange 20, Austin Brighton Eastbound. And before Bass Avenue to Boston, stop going traffic with Boston Street Street Overpass Boston, Boston reported by DOT. And 393.95 of all five from 128 to the New Hampshire border. 495 westbound side is a little slow from 20 to Andover down for 93 in Andover here. And 495 eastbound a little slow from Route 3 low all the way down to Tewksbury here. And 298 eastbound side, a little slow from Shrewsbury all the way down to 495. Due to the accident, 290 westbound in Marlboro after you get on from 495 here. And Mass Park Lady eastbound side, sold out of the Natick service area here. And 95 and 24, Mullah 5 from 120 to the Red Island border here. And Route 3 is Mullah 5 on both sides from Shockboard down from Great Tree here. And 495 Mullah 5 from Westbury all the way down to Wareham here. 195 block 5 for property to South for Wareham and 28 and 6 of Bullock 5. Route 6 block 5 from South Wooden Island through Orleans and Route 28 block 5 for Board Down to Falmouth here. And 25 block 5 for Wareham to Buzzards Bay. Take a look at the Brunette Highways. The only slow spot is 146 out of South Outside. Slow from Route 15995 due to the accident on 146 Snowbound in Providence. But otherwise, you have a smooth sail commute to the Ocean State here. And 146 on the northbound side, a little slow in Millbury here, but due to some road work and set here on 146 and then 
Not fine, stop fine, stop fine, stop fine, stop fine, stop fine, stop Peter Channel News Time, 819. It's time now for the Peter Channel News Morning Report. August 14th, 2014, on a Thursday. Good morning, I'm Peter Wiggins, and here's what's happening there. Our top story at 820 is a police rally before a, a rally in Wednesday in Ferguson, Missouri, where a teenager was shot by an officer last week. As the St. Louis suburb of Ferguson was a site for protest for a fifth straight night following the police killing up. Michael Brown, when the unarmed young black men, armored personal carriers, and officers wearing body armor and carried assault rifles greeted. Demonstrators went through crowd ignored orders to express officials at least tear gas and rubber bullets. Witnesses told Matt Pierce. South Korea's interest waved a Pope Francis motivated soul as Pope Korea's visit highlights Catholic growth in Asia. In the security of Jews in the Middle East, where the real interest in European countries like Germany and Austria, they wouldn't continue to sabotage the Israel occupation. The race to develop an effective treatment on the vaccine against Ebola is the largest outbreak in history continues to spread in West Africa. Jamie Bogart in Redford, she was grandmama, explains in the last ma of Lauren Bacall. Thousands of Pakistani opposition supporters on Thursday joined a large convoy headed to the capital Islamabad for a key route to demand the after the primaries over the allegation of voter fraud. <coughs> False rocket science sounds in South Israel, Trisholds, and Hamas officials accused of Israel of violating ceasefire and IDF ordered brutality against. Rocket fire from Gaza just before Palestine advanced truth six in by five days. Donetsk, Ukraine, a trail shells hit close to the center of Ukraine's separate held city on Donetsk for the first time on Thursday, killing at least one person while Western aid convoys rumble towards the border. In Washington, finding a glimmer of good news from Iraq as Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel said late Wednesday that U.S. airstrikes have helped to have a vicious jihadist from a mountain where tens of thousands of persecuted Iraqis have taken refuge. Heavy shelling has been heard in the rebel held city of uh, Donetsk, Ukraine, as Russian convoy approaches the Ukrainian border. The initial reports say people poured out with the offices in the center of the city after an evacuation warning in Sandin. Police on an Indonesian island in Bali have arrested two people after the body of an American woman was found in a suitcase. The woman's daughter, 19, and boyfriend, 21, were chained by police on Arizona Island Wednesday. In us, we got touching New York. Our 40 are searching for two Amish girls they say have been abducted from a roadside stand in northern New York. In the course of Canada, Texas, a teenager lived undetected for 20 days or 24 hours at Walmart in Texas after running away from his aunt's home police set on Wednesday. Throughout the years, Long Island has been blessed by hurricanes, drenched by tropical storms, and battered by blizzards, but none of the storms brought the Canada loads and many residents experienced early yesterday as 13.27 inch rain is a one day Empire State record in New York State. Dear Walmart's Stores Incorporated Chief Executive Officer Doug McMillan, who took the post in February, has been working to keep prices low and expanded in the retail. Smaller stores and increased revenues. In London, bond yields dropped to record lows after the Eurozone on Thursday, and the Euro hovered its nearest. Its weakest nine months after Germany imported its economy shrink in the second quarter, fueling the expectations of more central bank. Burger King to discontinue its low cows, satisfied that the promise of fewer cows and less fat failed to attract customers lean in the company to discontinue them and both stores. Samsung has launched its new Galaxy Alpha with a metal frame and a bid to boost sales after the plastic design of its smartphones been blamed for the company's recent struggles. Apple has bad this pressure and abandoned two dangerous chemicals that were exposed under the thousands of staff in China to a greater risk of cancer, nerve damage, and paralysis from a part of the supply chain. Near. Robin Williams' daughter Zelda quits social media over cruel comments. Don't panic, French Montana Chloe conducted her speech suicide and that's my Coco, the rapper told the Daily News. U.S. actress Gwyneth Paltrow posted at the British Fashion Awards in London on December 2013 as Gwyneth Paltrow reported dating Glee Coast creator Brad Falchuk. It's unclear whether Drake will ever reap any royalties for the forcing YOLO upon American culture and model, but they may be able to easily known and earn one more speculative missing the nation's lexicon. It took nearly 18 years for a lost lawyer's most celebrated young adult novel to give it to come to the big screen to now a motion picture major one. From a book tells a story about a future society that the spare the human race from pain and then seven is limited at all. Donald Stern petitioned to stay a probate court railing against him in regard to the two billion dollar sale the Clippers was denied one day in appeals court. Red Sox chairman Tom Warner and the finalists become Major League Baseball Commissioner as well. Red Sox chairman Tom Warner declined to speak about the presentation he made Wednesday before 29 of a Major League Baseball owner is here. And the Red Sox wait by two game series with the Cincinnati Reds with a 5-4 victory. Today they will begin up. Fenway Park Homestead began Thursday with a four game 
Series against the Houston Astros tonight at Fenway Park. Here, Unique graveyard at Fine Lizards show that they have huge crests and eight fruit and eight of living in oasis that migrate over to Pilot Toddler's Sea. Our primary fish, which measures 10 feet, 3 feet meters long and weighing at about 400 pounds, is considered the largest fish of the Amazon Basin and depleting gradually. Niger has confirmed 11 cases of Ebola after a doctor who treated the library man who brought the disease to the Lagos failed ill to the health minister said on Thursday. Still, South Korea, Korean Airlines Company said it better to suspend flights to and from Kenya when it was said to be a measure to prevent the spread of the Ebola virus. Let's take what is going on in the New England incident alerts here. In Wilbraham, Massachusetts, a motor vehicle accident on Springfield Street and Brook Lawn Road in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. The headquarters of Friendly's Ice Cream here. And this is the scene of the accident here, Springfield Street. Brook Street and Brookline Road here. As reports that I did an update a minor injury reported in patient fused medical services here. And a 2.7 magnitude earthquake occurred at 3.09 a.m. this morning. In Deep River, Connecticut here. Just near Old Saver here. Right now, no reports of injuries or damage here. Peter Challenge News. A bill of fire is canceled in the second ambulance from Tewksbury from the motorcycle crash of 72 Bicknell Road. A per burglar complaints one number is possibly dead at the time, and roadway is shut down. The Massachusetts State Police photo car being notified about 3.26 a.m. here. It is time to take a look at our stock market report from CNBC.com here. Dow Future. Okay, the pre market here. Hmm. All right. Mm. Now, features six and six forty two up twenty three. SP features nineteen four seven and a half up two and three quarters and now that feature 39.52 up six and a quarter here. Yeah. European markets DAX 923.59 up 39.71. FTSA 6693.46 up 36.78. And CAC 40.4215.54 up 23 quarters there. In Nikkei 15314.57 up 100.94. Shanghai 2206.47 down 16.41. HSI 24801.36 down 88.98. Dow Jones 16651.80 up 91.26. SP 5946.72 up 12.97. And NASDAQ 4434.13 up 44.87 here. And you all markets here. Oil 97.44 down 15 cents. Brent 103.62 down 6600 of a point. And natural gas 3.839 up 8000 of a point here. In the gold markets here. Gold 1311.20 down 3.30, silver 19.855 up one hundredth of a point, and copper 3.108 down four thousandths of a point here. In the bond there, US 10 year yield 2.4174 thousandths down one one thousandth of a point, Germany 10 year yield 1.02 percent down one hundredth of a point, and Germany 10 year yield 0.504 thousandths down four thousandths of a point here. And in the FX here, your stock in your stock 1.3373 up nine thousandths of a point is your stock Japanese yen 12.42 up 100 point and Great Britain pound your stock 1668 thousand down 1000 of a point. And that is gonna be it for the Weather Magician PHL News. The more important that's all because the 14 2014 on a Thursday morning PJ with you. Have a good day, what a good positive attitude, and I will see you for a little quick report at 11 a.m. before I go to the mini golf place and a full report at 5 o'clock. Have a good day, what a good positive attitude, and I will see you for a little quick report at 11 a.m. before I go to the mini golf place and a full report at 5 o'clock. Have a good day, what a good positive attitude, here.